In this video, I'm not going to talk about expats, but about Ecuador and the most seen places there. Hi everybody and welcome to How to Expert. My name is Tasha and I'm an expert in Colombia. Our mission is to help expats and soon to be expats to start their journey, to avoid gringo prices and to settle down hassle free. Like I said before, this video is not going to be about expats, but about Ecuador and the must seen places there. See it as a travel guide for your next trip. So the first place my husband and I ever visited in South America was Ecuador and especially Quito. We had a long flight from South Africa to Quito and it took us about 25 hours. Yeah, that's a long time. Can you imagine, after 25 hours flight, we got the information that they lost our baggage. And it was 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Even though we had a pretty hard start in Ecuador, we had such a great time there. Quito is not only the capital city of Ecuador, but the highest located capital city in the whole world. That's why I recommend you not to plan too much crazy stuff in the first few days when you're in Quito in order to get used to the height. Quito is a city where you can wear your sweater like almost every day because it's pretty cool there due to the height. At least that's what I did because I'm a person who gets cold pretty fast so I was wearing a sweater the whole day. Sometimes I could take it off but that doesn't often. So when you were in Quito, you of course had to visit the old town. The old town is packed with history and old churches and historical buildings in general. And it was pretty nice to just walk through the streets and just enjoy the view. Quito's old town is also a UNESCO World Heritage. So don't miss out on your trip when you're in Quito. I know I repeat it a lot of time, but it needs to be said. Don't carry your valuable things on you. I'm talking about the big old cameras. If you want to take a picture, of course you can, but then take it out of your bag, make the photo and put it back. You don't have to carry it the whole time in your hands on around your neck. In this way you're getting a target for thieves, so try to avoid it. So the next city is Guayaquil. Guayaquil is a really hot weather city. I was sweating my butt off if I can say this, <laughs> but it was really, really hot. I was like best friends with my AC because it was so hot the whole day and not only during day but at night as well. Guayaquil sweater is kind of similar to Panama City sweater. And if you didn't saw our video about Panama, check it out here. My husband and I visited Guayaquil in first place because we wanted to check out if this would be an option to settle. But it wasn't. In our opinion, it had not a lot of things to do, especially for tourists. Of course, it had some, it had some attractions and parks, but it wasn't too busy with tourists. And due to the weather also, it was too much for me to take. For Sam, it was kind of okay, but it was too much for me. It's a pretty big city, but it hasn't got a lot of things to do for tourists. And honestly, I didn't felt 100% safe there. I can't tell you exactly why, but it's, maybe it's just it was the vibe or I can't tell you. I really don't know why I didn't felt so safe. But where we were living in San Borondon, a lot of locals told us about San Borondon because they said this would be the safest place in Guayaquil to stay. And this is because the better earning Ecuadorians are living there. So Guayaquil is a big city with some attractions for tourists and some nice parks. And when you are around, why not visiting it? But in my opinion, it's not worth to spend too long there because there are a lot more to see in Ecuador. So the next city I would like to talk about is Banos. Banos is the center of adventures in Ecuador. No matter if you want to bungee jump, hiking, rafting, or just enjoying the view on the volcano Tungurahua. Talking about volcanoes, Ecuador's got a lot of volcanoes. Especially the Cotopaxi is the most famous. It's the second highest in Ecuador and also the most active and that's why it's such a big tourist attraction. So the next city is Cuenca. Unfortunately, we couldn't visit Cuenca, but we heard a lot of good things about it. Cuenca is the second most important city in Ecuador and according to the locals, the most beautiful one. And Cuenca's old town is like Quito's a UNESCO World Heritage. Cuenca is also famous for its expat and especially the retirees due to the nice weather throughout the whole year. 
Let's switch to the coast. First place at the coast is the Esmeraldas province. The Esmeraldas province are famous for its beautiful beaches and is one of the most visited ones because it's only a few hours away from Quito. Next is Puerto Lopez. Puerto Lopez is a little nice town at the Pacific coast where we spent today at the freshly rebuilt Malecon. The next town is Montanita. We only spent a few days in Montanita, but it was pretty obvious that this is a party hub. During day, everybody's relaxing on the beach, tanning and just having a good time. And at night, party hard. Next up is Salinas. We were in Salinas for a few weeks because we had a volunteering project there. After a few days in Salina, we noticed that this is a party and a holiday resort. Especially for the people in Guaquil. There are a lot of families spending their holidays there and teenies while partying, but it's not as crazy as in Montanita. Last but not least, the Galapagos Islands. Surely one of the most famous island groups in the world. Due to the almost untouched fauna and flora, it is also a UNESCO World Heritage. The Galapagos Islands offers wildlife and landscapes nowhere else found on the earth. Isn't that reason enough for a visit? Little disclaimer at the end, there are so many more places to visit in Ecuador, but those were the most important ones for me to talk about. So let me know, have you ever visited Ecuador and what did you like the most there? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content and can use the information on next trip to Ecuador. And don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos. See you next time.